So I cleaned this keyboard like what a month ago and it's already dirty again. And this time around, instead of doing it alone, we'll be doing it together. If you have a mechanical keyboard and it's dirty like mine and you don't know how to clean it, this will serve as a guide for you. So this is how to clean a mechanical keyboard. Before we start, you are going to need the following tools. Some kind of keycap removing tool. Most mechanical keyboards come with one, but if yours doesn't, I'll leave a link below where you can get one. An empty bowl, a couple of cutting boards, a bit of alcohol or a disinfectant wipe, and some type of brush. First, we need to plug it out and remove all the keycaps from the keyboard. Make sure you've taken a photo of the keyboard before removing them, or if you still have the box, then that's okay. We are gonna fill the bowl we've got with water and add a bit of soap to it. Then we are gonna put those keycaps inside the soap and leave them to soak for some time. Ideally 20 to 30 minutes is okay. This will remove all the grime that's stuck on the keycaps as well as the oily mess. We will leave that for now and go back to the actual keyboard. This is when you will see all those dirty particles that are stuck under the keycaps and on the switches. Firstly, we are going to be using our brush to remove all those dirty particles from the surface. You might need to be a bit rough depending on how soft your brush is. Mine is mostly dust so it will be fairly easier than some of yours. Next, we will be using the cutting board and alcohol or wipe depending on what you got to clean off the gunk and the grime on the surface and in between the keycaps. I don't recommend using water because it doesn't really remove the oily moisture from the surface. But if you have to, I recommend slightly dampening the cotton bud in water and running it across the surface. You have to be careful not to let water inside the switches as that might be potentially bad for, for the keyboard. Now that we are done cleaning the surface of the keyboard, it's time to go back and rinse the keycaps. Make sure you thoroughly rinse them to get rid of all the foam. Get a dry rag or towel which we'll be using for drying the keycaps. There is gonna be a lot of water inside the keycaps so you gotta make sure you remove all the water by tapping or even blowing them to make sure all the water is removed. Okay, it's been a few hours since we left the keycaps to dry and now it's time to put them back. As I said in the beginning of the video, make sure you have a photo of the keyboard or the keyboard box when putting back the keycaps. If you forgot, it's still fine, you can always find the photo online. Now that you've put back your keycaps, the last thing you might want to do is polish the keycaps a bit to give them some final touches and remove any residue you might put on while handling them. 
and that is it congratulations my friend you have finally cleaned up your mechanical keyboard and that is it for this video thanks to all of you for watching even those ones that weren't cleaning their keyboard don't forget to leave a like before you leave and consider subscribing and i'll see you in the next video